Pitching staff, it's uh, well. There's a lot of question marks, so we we have a lot of answers still to to go. But a potential group, guys with a lot of good arms and guys that we're excited about, but they don't have any expertise. They don't have the the know-how. They don't have the they've been out there to prove to us that it's just going to go out and happen for them. So we're uh, we're excited about the potential, but that could be a dirty word. Well, that's what you hope. You know, I, hey, I'll, I'll take that again. You know, there's no Kevin Brandt to lead that, that group at the, uh, at the top. Uh, hoping that Hoffman could take the lead role and take that number one spot with his ability, with his talent level. But then again, he's still a young sophomore. And, you know, there's things called sophomore slumps. So we're hoping that he doesn't decide to get in one of those. And his work ethic and his, his ability should keep him at that number one spot. No doubt about that. Well, you look at Hoffman's body, that's number one. You know, that's, uh, I guess, anywhere you go, <clears throat> you look at, uh, you know, he looks the part in a uniform, six foot four, six foot five, the long, lanky, you know, easy arm action. And with an easy arm action, he comes up and he's, you know, up there anywhere from mid to upper, upper 90s. You know, uh, once again, it all comes back down to that kid competes. And that's why he got as much time as he did as a freshman. He went out there and, you know, that, that cockiness and that swagger. And he didn't know it right away. You just thought he was being a little arrogant. And then all of a sudden, it started coming along with the stuff. Um, I've always known that Coach uh, Roselle and Coach Gowan had a lot of trust in me. Uh, so last year, when they threw me out there so many times, I kind of got the feeling that, you know, this year I would have a, a pretty big role. But I mean, nothing was guaranteed at the beginning of this year. I had to work just like everybody else had to work. Uh, but I mean, Wherever they decide to put me in the rotation, that's where I'll pitch, and that's where I'll do the best for my team. It makes me feel good. Um, I know that I'm going to go out there and compete for my team every time I go out there. And whether you know, we score one run or 10 runs, I know I'm going to give my, my team a chance to win just as long as I throw strikes and I do what I got to do. But my defense, I mean, I'm just going to put the ball over the zone and let them do the work for me. Um, obviously, there's a little bit added pressure, but I try not to think about that. I know I got a great defense behind me. Um, all the guys back there, they, they know what they got to do, and they're going to make the plays for me. There's that added, you know, he's got to do what he's got to do. He's got to go out there and, and succeed for a team. But I'm not going to put all that pressure on me. I'm just going to go out there and, and throw strikes, have my defense do the work. And I know my, my bats that, that are in the lineup, they're going to do what they got to do, and they're going to they're gonna win. Oh, definitely. Uh, the bats, I mean, when I was in high school, it was the last year they would, they used the BESR bats, and balls were flying out of the yard left and right, especially with the winds. Um, but now, I mean, you can kind of get a little lenience with where you place the ball. But no matter what, college hitters are still really good hitters, and you got to make your pitches to get people out. The biggest thing I learned last year was definitely how to learn how to pitch. Uh, high school is a lot different than pitching at the Division One level. Guys, guys don't swing and miss very often. So I actually had to learn how to pitch and learn how to put the ball in the zone where I wanted it and learn how to make weak, get weak contact and get outs.